We're in the final hours before SpaceX's third Starship flight test, and the company has just finished one of the crucial steps leading up to the launch. In this video, we're going to cover this latest action by SpaceX. SpaceX has shared in an online update that it's planning to do the third flight test of its Starship on Thursday, March 14th, although they still need approval from regulators. Furthermore, the company has scheduled a live stream to begin on March 14th, a practice they maintain before every launch, including those of the Falcon 9 rockets. SpaceX is focusing heavily on the technical aspects required for a successful launch. One such critical component is the water deluge system. This system is crucial for protecting the launch pad and its surroundings from the intense heat and force produced by the booster's Raptor engines during ignition. In a recent test, the system was activated, releasing approximately 350,000 gallons of water in about 20 seconds. The importance of the water deluge system became clear from SpaceX's initial experiences. During the first Starship launch, the absence of a water deluge system resulted in significant damage to the launch pad. The rocket's engines were so powerful that they created a huge crater at the launch pad and sent debris flying into nearby areas. This damage was serious and took months to fix. Experts had already suggested SpaceX should use a water deluge system. Such systems are common for big rockets because they help control the heat and force from the launch. After seeing the damage from the first launch, SpaceX decided to build a water deluge system for future launches to avoid similar problems. Comparing with NASA's system, which uses around 450,000 gallons of water to manage launch conditions for their rockets, shows how vital these systems are. SpaceX's new system aims to use about 350,000 gallons of water to protect the launch area and reduce the risk of damage. Parallel to the system tests, SpaceX used its chopsticks to carefully stack Starship S-28 on top of its Super Heavy Booster 10 on March 10th. For the second integrated flight test, SpaceX used Ship 25 and Booster 9. This test introduced a new hot staging technique and included a water deluge system as part of the ground support equipment. The flight saw all 33 engines of the first stage firing to full duration, and the Starship and Super Heavy accomplished a hot staging separation successfully. However, the booster was destroyed due to an engine failure caused by filter blockage. The upper stage had a normal ascent for about seven minutes until a leak developed during a planned liquid oxygen venting, leading to a combustion event. This caused a full engine shutdown and activation of the flight termination system as the ship reached an altitude of approximately 150 kilometers. Looking ahead, for the third flight test, SpaceX plans a complex mission sequence that begins with the liftoff of the Starship system, which includes both the Starship S-28 and its Super Heavy Booster 10. This moment marks the start of a meticulously planned journey, initially aimed at reaching a predetermined altitude, where the first major milestone, the internal propellant transfer demonstration, will be showcased. This process is critical for future missions, especially those targeting deep space, as it would allow the spacecraft to refuel in orbit, extending its range and capabilities. Following the successful demonstration of propellant transfer, the mission continues with the Starship preparing for its descent back to Earth. This involves carefully calculated maneuvers to position the spacecraft for re-entry, balancing speed and trajectory to ensure a safe descent through the Earth's atmosphere. As Starship re-enters the atmosphere, it will be subjected to extreme temperatures and forces, testing the vehicle's heat shield and aerodynamic surfaces. Approximately one hour and four minutes after launch, the mission culminates in a hard splashdown in the Indian Ocean. SpaceX's preference for a hard splashdown in the Indian Ocean, especially in the context of the third flight test, instead of aiming for a precision landing using its Mechazilla, comes from several reasons. The infrastructure surrounding the launch pad, including the Mechazilla itself, is both expensive and critical to SpaceX's launch operations. Each launch and landing operation poses risks, particularly during the testing phase of the Starship program. The potential for an explosion or mishap during landing could not only destroy the valuable infrastructure, but also set back the testing program significantly. Considering the risk, SpaceX has chosen to splash down the Starship in the ocean. This method is safer for the equipment 
and takes advantage of SpaceX's previous experience with ocean recoveries from Falcon rocket missions. SpaceX has successfully recovered Falcon rocket stages by landing them on drone ships at sea, a process that has helped them refine recovery techniques and improve rocket safety and reliability. A hard splashdown, while not aiming for a soft landing on a drone ship or landing pad, still requires precise targeting to ensure the spacecraft lands in the designated recovery area. In 2023, SpaceX achieved 96 launches, setting a strong precedent for their future goals. Building on this, SpaceX has ambitiously adjusted its target for 2024 to 148 missions, an increase from an initial 144. This adjustment accounts for four missions from the previous year. Achieving this would require launching a Falcon 9 or Falcon Heavy every two and a half days. To achieve this, SpaceX's launch system, including pads, recovery operations, and flight hardware, is being optimized to support up to 13 launches per month. For the Starship program, SpaceX aims for at least nine launches throughout the year, according to a Federal Aviation Administration administrator. This plan marks a significant ramp-up in activity, with a third test flight targeted for mid-March. This schedule suggests SpaceX is aiming for about one Starship launch per month from then until the end of 2024. Musk has set a high target for SpaceX's Starship, aiming for up to 1,000 flights per year. This goal is part of his plan to enable human settlement on Mars and requires a significant increase in launch frequency. The key to achieving this is the Starship's fully reusable design, which Musk believes can lower the cost and increase the frequency of space travel. SpaceX is already preparing for the fourth flight test using Starship 29 paired with Booster 11, and the fifth flight test will involve Starship 30 coupled with Booster 12. The launch schedule, as confirmed by the FAA, sets the primary launch date for March 14th, with backup dates through March 18th. The designations for splashdown zones in the East Indian Ocean and the Western Australian Ocean. The upcoming launch carries both technical significance and symbolic value, launching on Pi Day, March 14th, aligning with SpaceX's founding anniversary. This mission aims to surpass previous flight's achievements, leveraging the insights gained from those experiences. Parallel to the Starship developments, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket achieved a significant milestone with its 300th successful launch. During its landmark 300th mission, Falcon 9 successfully deployed a communications satellite. With a launch cost of approximately $62 million for commercial customers, Falcon 9 stands out as a cost-effective option in the space launch market. This price point is particularly competitive when compared to traditional expendable rockets, which can cost upwards of $100 million per launch. The ability to reuse the first stage of the rocket is key to this cost reduction. And that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.